Hello everyone and welcome back to my final playthrough of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. So, uh, if I remember where we last left off, poor Nagito was murdered, the murderer is one of us, and we are going to find out exactly what happened, not exactly what happened to him. Hmm. I know I should have... Without further ado, do, let's start the final class trial for the murder of Nagato Komaeda. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present oh, your arguments you, for who the killer oh, is Nagito, and vote for who did it. If you vote correctly, then only the black end will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the Blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island! Oh my! Monami? My cute little sister? You're up, be quiet! What's happened to you? Oh, hang on, I have to put back. You also send the ladder of a dojo and reach the moon? Because you're a rabbit? Damn, Monami gives zero fucks. Changed up. Jesus Christ. Alright, I think I was careful. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. The reason Nagito's body was covered with wounds is because the killer tortured Nagito. So that's why he was so beat up. What were they trying to find out by torturing him? Definitely the most highly placed. Mm, so, that's not it. Is whoever found the bomb first? That was Fuyuhiko. I, I found it by coincidence. There's no way I'd torture someone. Why'd the killer torture Nagito? No. Those were the knife that's going to work off the torch in the first place. Killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. The reason Nagito's body was covered with wounds is because the killer tortured Nagito. So that's why he was so beat up. What were they trying to find out by torturing him? Definitely the most hiding place. If so, the suspect. Is whoever found the bomb first? That was Fuyuhiko. I found it by coincidence. Hmm. Hang on. There's no way I... Alright, uh, sorry about that. Anyway, I've got it. Killer didn't take that. I'm telling you, they'll give me the night of the... Because the killer was torn in my life. No, that's 
Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape, so he wouldn't have been able to confess anything. If he was being tortured for information, then he wouldn't have taped his mouth like that. I was there. Oh, great. See, this is why I don't like him. Uh, I just realized it. it's a trap! A trap? You could have caught me that trap! Stupid. Hey, Yoko's right. You are an idiot. Like you said, now you can not be fortunate. Obviously, it's a new thing to talk, right? But that was the trap! You wanted to hide the fact that we got interrogated. Look, he takes his mouth shut. How is he supposed to answer anything? Pay attention! This is how it works! The poor Georgia and Nagito went down into Asia dead with duct tape and Nagito! Damn it! Like you said, Nagito's mouth is being shut. Obviously, it's a little bit right? But that was the trap! He wanted to hide it, but they got interrogated! I can't back down! Shut. How is he supposed to answer anything? Pay attention, this is how it went down. First, the killer told your mind to and got information about the bombs again after they killed him. Allow me to cut through those words. No, there's no doubt Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape before he was beat up. What did you say? Who cares about the duct tape? We might as well settle this with rock, paper, scissors. We don't need to play a game. It's clear the duct tape was on his mouth before the torture even began. Why are you always citing Hajime? Do you have a crush on him or something? Oh, hold on. There's one more thing I have to fix. Sorry about that, but, um... The thing is, I was editing the other two parts, so I had to get rid of those videos so I could, see, so I could like, leave these videos. So I can edit them later when I finish up. Alright, back to it. Elementary school or something. You were with us when I peeled the duct tape off Nagito's mouth, right? The blood on Nagito's face wasn't under the duct tape, remember? The blood on his face came from his arm wounds, which means the duct tape was on his face before his arms were even wounded. And the duct tape had a lot of crinkles around his mouth. He must have been struggling to open his mouth under the duct tape. Perhaps the duct tape was used so we wouldn't be able to scream. Then it's like I said at the beginning. The tape wasn't for torture. He was to keep his mouth shut. However, if they wanted to save his mouth, they did not need to hurt him with such ferocities. They probably had a deep grudge against Nagito. Then, are you saying the killer was trying to make him suffer? If so, some are going crazy. Did they go psycho or something? No, they didn't just go crazy. Whoever did this must be one crappy bastard. If not, they wouldn't have taken the time to set fire to the crime scene and destroy all the evidence. Mm -hmm. The warehouse fire was for destroying the evidence? You can't think of any other reason. So who could have done that? When the fire occurred, everyone in this room was gathered in front of the warehouse. Yeah, and right after I opened the warehouse door, the flames started burning from the very back. Which means... It is possible to think that nobody here set the fire. Killer isn't one of us. But that's not the case, huh? I mean, it's what you think. Even if it was only a coincidence, the timing was just too perfect. Based on the pattern up until now, we should suspect that some kind of setup was used for this. Some kind of setup? What? I... I do not know that. But that has been the pattern before. That's honest, Sonia. You have such an amazingly high intellect. Alright, shut up, Aster. But then again, setups have been occurred before. Like Nagito's first trap for the for Yakuya. The reason for the fire, huh? We don't need to clear that up first. Okay, now we got the regular now we got the regular music back. If I remember correctly, um, the first shot was set up by Nagito, which was which was set up before. Then the same thing happened in three with Mikan. The oil rider found the crime 
guessing, right? The camera used some kind of setup. Hmm. You left the curtain on fire with the lighter. Some kind of setup? Did they use the oil as an improvised fuse? They probably just threw the lighter. Based on the shape of that oil lighter, it can stand upright while the flame is lit. If it tipped over the lighter in some way, it could have ignited the curtain. Some way? Maybe it'll make some visible threat. Nah. There should have been a way to tip it over with sound waves. Nope. Or perhaps opening the door caused the intense wind pressure to tip over the lighter. I think it's so much space. The fire the 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 it was the wind pressure! A dust that will blow me in from glorious Japan! No, not wind pressure. They probably used the Monokuma panels. A huge number of tipped over Monokuma panels were found at the crime scene, right? It looked like they were scattered everywhere. But some were laying on top of each other in a single line. Just a single line leading through the warehouse door to the fire's origin. Does that mean anything? The killer probably arranged those Monokuma panels to create the domino effect. You mean those tiles kids boil with by lining them up and tipping them over? In place of those tiles, the killer used the Monokuma panels. So when we opened the warehouse door, the first panel toppled into the second. And from there, they fell like dominoes until they reached the lighter at the end. But wouldn't it be obvious that those big panels were falling over? That's probably why they turned off the lights in the warehouse. So we wouldn't notice them. So the reason the warehouse was dark was to the domino effect. And one more thing. There was something else the killer did to hide the domino effect, right? Oh. The loud music. You're talking about the MP3 player, right? That hymn blaring throughout the warehouse masked the sound of the falling panels. If you recognize that music closely, uh, that is from the trigger, the trigger heart um, thing. When you spend time enough with a person, that you trigger a heart event. I know I recognize the music from somewhere. That's it. So the strange sound was actually the sound of the panels falling. But those sounds weren't the only strange thing, right? Looking back on it, it was also strange when we opened the door to the warehouse. Honestly, I'm not gonna be reading these lines. I've already read them twice. Platter, platter, platter. <laughs> you know, I think about it, that clatter, clatter, clatter noise was definitely the monocuma panels tilting over. Ah, so the door was being blocked by a monocuma panel. And when we opened the door, the domino effect started, and the falling panels eventually reached the lighter. Yeah, and that's how the warehouse caught on fire. At least, that's how it looks. The door was the only entrance to the warehouse. The door was the only entrance to the warehouse. The killer couldn't have left. If the 
panel was so close to the door that it could barely be opened. The killer inside the warehouse wouldn't be able to leave, right? Now until we killed at noon, we were in the warehouse at noon. Oh shit! We were all outside the warehouse, you know. Based on the patterns up until now, I believe some kind of setup was used. You don't have to think so hard. There's actually only one person who could have possibly done this. You don't mean? I know what she um, means. How do you mean? What do you mean? This murder. Was orchestrated by only one person, and that person is none other than this is my answer. Why am? It was Naito. Why'd you bring him up? He's the victim, you know. He wasn't just the victim. Maybe, huh? Not just the victim. Naito killed himself. He was the victim. And he was the perpetrator, too. And then... Are you saying this was a suicide? Don't be stupid. His body was covered in torture wounds. Or did you already forget? Are you saying those... were all self-inflicted? But... Nagito might do something like that. That's not the issue. He was tied up, remember? Even for a creep like Nagito, it'd be impossible for him to tie up his own arms and legs. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. As long as you understand. It seems we need to discuss how Nagito was able to tie himself up. N need to discuss? That's not necessary at all. No matter how much you think about it, it's clearly impossible. Hmm, I don't know. Nagito's been capable of a lot of a lot of stuff. I'm so it's not just the final dead room I'm talking about either. I get to oh, burn himself. So we have a free, so we have a free hand. Uh, I mean, it's no mistake that his arms and legs were. No, it shouldn't have been both of his arms. The rope on his right arm was completely burnt up. Based on that, you can't say he was tied up. That was just burned by the fire. He should have been tied up before that. It burned because of the fire. Like you said, it might look like that. But that was part of the trap. There's concrete evidence that proves it. Take a close look at his right sleeve. Even though the world was burned up, the sleeve wasn't burned at all. Would you agree? A burn like this, no matter how you think about it, is unnatural. That rope was burned in the dance, so it would look like it was burned in the fire. Well, Nagito's right arm wasn't tied up, right? He was able to move it freely, right? Yeah, that should be the case. Hey, I mean, that's awesome! I'll let you have a feel if you want. <clears throat> Come on, you should not give it away for free. Make sure they pay you first. Yo, Sonya! That's definitely wrong. Fine. I just gotta get a Benjamin from him before I let him touch me, right? Uh, sorry, but, uh, Chucky's my- I mean, even if his 
Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Trick me! Give me back that bandit! What's right, Sparge? What's with the money back? What the heck? Hold on! There should be a way! Then hurry up and spill it! There's a fucking way! I'll make you give back the bandit with 10,000% interest! Hey, we just have spilling it, it's the only way. It's because there's definitely an answer for this. Right hand was free. How can he stab his right hand with his right hand? Did he throw it into the air? And what did I fall? Could he stab his hand that way? Is he a clown, my Even for Nagata, that'd be way too much. He stabbed his right hand down on it? Propped it onto what? If he just dropped the knife, he could have used it down on his hand. If you're tied up, your arms won't bend that easily. We don't know if he's left that can even reach his right hand. Stop asking for the Benjamin back, bitch. You need to. I'm sorry, I shouldn't call him like bitch. Stop asking for an economy cut charge, me, remember? Even if not, he does right. Shots just said crap. That might come a plush. That might come a plushie. Got a stab wound on it. Is he a clown, Maybe he popped the knife somehow. Maybe he popped the knife somehow. Mmm, Jackie was right. Sorry. The spear. Basically, you're saying Nagito committed suicide by impaling himself with a spear, right? If you think about the order, getting killed by the spear should have been the last thing to happen to Nagito. Well, that if that's true. true, how is that possible? He can't grab a spear with his right hand if a knife is stabbed into it and his left hand was all tied up. Then he probably took the spear first. Now he endured the pain. No, that's a fatal wound right there. There's no way you can endure that shit. I mean, just look at Mukuro. If you got penetrated by something so big and you would die instantly. What? Sonia. I'm sorry, but it's good. That's what I said. If you got penetrated by something so big and you would die instantly. Hello, Sonia. Ah, I get one more time. But seriously though, Mukuro got kept, got killed with that same spear. Mukuro got killed by that same spear, even though it was multiple ones, and she died nearly instantly. There's no way Nakito could have endured that. So you're saying that's impossible? But no matter what I think, I can't believe Nagito's death was caused by someone else. I also agree with that. To think that one of us could kill someone with such cruelty, I could never believe that. You say you can't believe it? <laughs> you just don't want to believe it, right? That's why you keep getting betrayed over and over again, right? Mm. Oh, 
but it's just as Monokuma said. We've been betrayed over and over again so far, so this might also be the same. Calling this a suicide takes too much for granted, and it's too convenient. So now you saying there is a color of Mona Kawaiji? Uh, of course that doesn't include Miss Sonia and me. As Kawaiji said, it's true we've been constantly betrayed. But even if I'm betrayed again, I still want to believe in everyone. No matter how many times I may be betrayed, I still want to believe in everyone. Chucky. I also want to believe that there's no killer, but suicide is unimaginable. Do you really think so? But you said it too. It'd be impossible for him to stab himself with a spear in his condition. Oh, this is a controller. Oh, sorry, my PS4 controller was over I there. I did say difficult, but I never said impossible. <laughs> I'm a fucking charge frame. I feel that there's... some way he could have stabbed himself with that spear. What kind of way? I don't know. You don't know? It's impossible to figure out by myself. So let's think about it together. That's how. We made it this far up till now. Everyone. Working together. She's right. We had through several ordeals up till now by doing that. Then even now. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Make the argument. How did Nami just stab herself with a spear? Let's work together and think this through. When the spear stabbed Nami, his right hand was tied by a knife, right? He was only able to move his left hand. But his left hand was also tied up. He never moves out his left hand. Hmm. If that's the case, he only had a what he used his teeth? Or maybe he used his front tail? Again with the front tail again? I don't know that tails are getting hard when they're grass. What? What do you see? The force of his sword is freaking awesome! Shut up. How did Martin do stab us up with his feet? Let's work again for the fear of death with his right hand. He's only able to raise his left hand with his left hand. He's only able to raise his left hand. He's only able to raise his left hand. Hold on. It's still too early to dismiss the possibility that he used his left hand. Why? I mean, his left hand was tied up, you know? But there was something off about his left hand. The blood stain on the palm of his hand. Don't you think it looks somewhat strange? He only had blood on the lower area of his palm. Beyond that point, the blood stain suddenly cuts off, right? When the blood splattered, that's as far as it reached, right? That settles the description of that blood stain. But it's not the only unnatural blood stain. Look, there's blood on the back of his hand. Around the middle joints of his fingers. Like you said, it looks like an unnatural blood stain. What's wrong with that? We might need to think and use our imaginations for a bit. If there's blood on his palm and the back of his hand, what was his left hand doing at the blood splatter? Okay. When the blood splattered, he was probably dripping with his left hand. That's why there's such a strange looking blood stain on his palm and the back of his hand. Is he grabbing his front tail? The, again with the front tail cutting. Here's the thought. He was obviously grabbing the spear. Shh. Now that you mention it, compared to the rest of his body, the wounds on his left arm are pretty mild. He probably made his wounds mild on purpose so he could keep his strength while he gripped the spear. But even if he held the spear with his tied up left hand, it'd be impossible for him to stab himself. Hey Chucky, what do you think? Chucky? Hey, don't tell me you're getting sleepy. At times like this, you should always strike from a good angle. Just like fixing an old TV. Oh, I got it. Maybe. Really? Yeah. As I thought, it's no mistake that Nagiya was gripping the spear. I think, however, 
tell us in four minutes what section of the spirit is working. Hmm. Shine. No, too far. Not too far. Handle. Too heavy. Blade. Too sharp. Cord. Maybe. Yeah. That's it. Instead of the handle, Nagito must have been holding onto the cord. There was a metal weight at the tip of the cord, but there were bloodstains on that part too. Plus, the joint between the weight and the cord had a bloodstain sheet like it was cut off by something. Isn't the size of that cut off section about the same size as a human head? Ah, oh, you're right. So this is the part Nagito was gripping, huh? And then the blood that was supposed to end up here ended up getting on Nagito's left hand. But why is it so important to know which part of the spearing is gripping? You're not gonna see him rip the tip of the cord, swung the spear around and stab himself, right? That is where the crew to solve this mystery decides. Right, Yagi? I am sorry. Of course this mystery will not be solved that easily. Hmm, why did Joe's gripping the cord extension from the butt of the spear of his left hand? And from there, how would he stab himself in the swing of his sphere? Hmm. Stuff. Shall we have tea time? At a time like this, how about we stick to the plan to think one step at a time instead of expecting the answers all at once? What? That's a long planning. One step at a time. What does that mean? Let's focus on the spirit first. Namely, where it was and how it was positioned just before it impaled Nagito. How it was positioned? Like to face her up, and the sphere was stabbed through her stomach. So it was just before that. That's it. Could it be saving the sphere and the stick and the back of the to the tip of the cord attachment? If I put those together and think about it, I should be able to figure it out. The sphere was in the state of us before and before it stabbed Nikito. Ooh, a logic dive. God damn it. Question one. What spirit found just killed Mikey Town? Hmm. Awesome. Damn it! Gotta go fast like Sonic. Gotta go Sonic fast. Damn it! Oh jeez, I'm oh jeez, I'm losing my time. Damn it! Question two. Besides the where else is it? Oh, crap, not the stuff plushy. No, wait. Damn it! Who was yellow? A ceiling girder. Oh, hang on. Sorry, that was an important message I had to respond to. Question three. Um, spheres cord. Cord of Gal Nagito, above Nagito, above Nagito, ceiling girder, and most of the spheres cord. It's like literally 12 in the morning, and I'm very exhausted right now. Question 
blue of the air? You have to do that all by yourself. Do you have some sort of ESP? That'd be awesome, but you probably need the ceiling barrier directly above me. I took all the sun cord over the cylinder, and using that as a support, we hosted the sphere directly above it. And if not to let go of the cord, the sphere would have fallen and impaled him while he was laying face up. I noticed a slight red streak on the ceiling barrier. He probably got smeared there during the setup. The blood on the cord probably rubbed off on the ceiling girder as the sphere was falling. So, how about it? Using this method, Nagito could have impaled himself with the spear. He really committed suicide? Like that? He probably chose that spear so he could commit suicide like that. If someone else did this, there's no reason they'd go to all this trouble just to kill someone with a spear. I agree. When I was investigating this case, I kept thinking over and over how strange it was. Why did the killer use the knife and the spear so differently? So you're saying he needed to use that spear to pull off his trick? Then, this is for real? Really committed suicide? Every single wound on his body. That was all him. What was the point of this? Why did Nagito commit suicide? Not just that. He did all that while he was gripping the spear? That spear should not have stabbed Nagito until the very end. Which means Nagito wounded himself while he was gripping that spear, right? Did he put the duct tape on his mouth too? He probably covered his own mouth so he wouldn't hear him screaming in pain. Did he need to go that far? That's beyond crazy! Why would he do that to himself? He was probably trying to get us to make a mistake. By committing a suicide that looked like a murder. He was trying to steer us toward the wrong answer. It was to get us all executed. And that's why he stabbed himself. No, I don't believe that. Nagisa wouldn't do this to us. Jesus, I'm feeling really sympathetic towards him. How stupid of me. I completely underestimate his, capa his capacity for malice. The mind boggling malice of darkness even after you die. That's the point of malice to talk. I could only know about it for now. If he was here now, he'd probably be scaring at me. However, there is one thing I still do not understand. He said he would reveal the traitor, right? Whatever became of that? He was probably planning to kill the traitor along with the rest of us. So why did he not just do that in the first place? If he had no qualms with killing everyone, he did not have to cause a bomb scare to reveal the traitor. I bet the bomb scare was part of the strategy behind this trick. He made us split up and search for a bomb so none of us would have an alibi. He created a scenario where any of us could have killed him. He tried to make us doubt each other. To try to hide the truth behind his suicide. Did he cause a bomb scare? For that reason alone? He's a fucking bastard who killed himself with delusions of grandeur. It's not that unthinkable. You are right, I suppose. Yeah, it appears we've come to a conclusion. Bastard not to commit suicide. It's all done by his ABS. Hmm, that should be okay. You're not satisfied yet? No, I agree that Nagito kills himself. It's not like there's something that doesn't make sense. It's probably just my imagination. Why? I mean, that's really what she's talking about. I don't think it's a mistake to assume that Nagito committed suicide, but why do I feel so uneasy about it? It's because we don't know the traitor is. So, what are you going to do? Is it okay to proceed with the voting time? What do you think, Akane? Well, there's no doubt Nagito's death was a suicide. Oh well, I guess my gut is wrong sometimes. You are right. It is not as though we can draw any other conclusion. Then, it's okay to end it here, huh? That means we're done with this last class trial and we can leave this island, right? It's okay to reach such a happy ending, right? No, I thought that's a Then it's okay? It's okay to say, you've decided on the killer? Understood. Then voting time. No, hold on a sec. Uh, uh, hold on? Why? Sorry, just a little more. I want you guys to wait just a little more. I can't help but feel like there's still something we overlooked. 
Like who the traitor is? But the issue here is who killed Nagito, right? Even if we identify the traitor, the conclusion won't change. That's true, but... The mystery isn't just about who the traitor is. No matter how you look at it, Nagito's death is a suicide. But I'm a little worried, you know? I'm worried about starting the voting time while there's still a mystery. Hey, what do you mean it's not about who the traitor is? What kind of mystery is left? Wait, what is Chucky talking about? There's just one thing that doesn't make sense. And it relates to Nagito's death. Plus, it's something even Nagito couldn't influence. He couldn't even tamper with the evidence for it. Something related to Nagito's death and something that he couldn't even miss to? Are going to keep going? Here I thought we were finally finished. That would have been way too soon. Wait a minute. Wait. Does she need... Wait a second. Nagito's time of death. Is it about the Monokuma file? Yeah, that's it. Huh? There was something suspicious in the Monokuma file? The victim is Nagito Komaeda. The wife is going inside the warehouse near the Monokuma plushie factory. He has many times death is going to be moon sharp. I'm sure he's worried about. Oh, I think I know what she. Oh, I think I know what she means. Whoa, okay, okay, this is seriously getting out of hand. Okay, this is way too many letters. I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose my influence before I can bring the letters out. Well, save I said now I'll save my letters. Give me another each. How many? How much influence do I have left? I almost lost all my influence. Oh my god, that was so much of a hassle. But it was a cause of death. You must be thinking of cases not criminal. There's no specific cause of death. So. Well, Monokuma, I win the fifth! 
more than a new kind of case, the thing we purposely omitted from the Monacola body was always the most important mystery in the case. I see. Does that apply this time too? Hold, hold on, sir. Then, are you saying there's more than Nagito's death? Are you suggesting, again, that his death wasn't a suicide? You guys were the ones who said it was a suicide in the first place! No, I don't think it's a mistake to call Nagito's death a suicide. But, it's not just a suicide. Come to think of it, did Nagito really, really commit suicide just to get us all killed? Are you sticking up for him? That's not what I meant. I mean it in a bad sense. Bad sense? I just remember that his malice always defied our expectations. And that concerns me. For example, would that malice just end here? Did Nagito's malice drive him to risk his life for a truth we'd reach this easily? I mean, this is Nagito we're talking about, you know? Oh, interesting! You sure do believe in Nagito, huh? Because you believe in his malice, you continue to suspect his malice! I see! I guess that's what passes for friendship these days! Friendship? What should we do, you guys? Should we proceed with the vote? I think we should keep going until everyone is satisfied. Even if it's just to be safe. You are right. We only get one chance to vote after all. Just to be safe, huh? Guess I have no choice. That's the case, I'll do my best to go along with it. This is friggin' annoying. If you guys say you're doing it, there's no way I'm gonna back out. Hey, Monazuma, you heard us. The voting's gonna have to wait! We've come this far. Let's work hard to the very end. If we work together, everything should be alright. That's what I believe. Aww, splendid. You guys are so splendid right now. That's right. If all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you. When your hopes are united, no despair can shake you, huh? Now that I think about it, Nike just said the same thing. The absolute hope that can overcome any despair. He said he was yearning for that. In this situation, it might be the thing that Nike just wanted all along. No, never mind. I'm probably overthinking. recently crazy I thought the voting time was going to start, but we don't everything about it rationally. There's no way it was going to happen. We haven't done it this bit yet. Most of the players probably figured that out too. You're the only one who did it now. Isn't that right, Monty? Hey, how much money are you playing with soft? That's going to look like we always do. Alright, you passed. Friendship is measured by how well you can stand the sounds when you're all alone with someone else. So, Monty and I are the best of the best friends. Don't see such stupid things. I hate you so much right now. And that's why I have to be hated that much. Besides the fact that you've now been me like that, I don't trust you at all. Now you're a teensy tiny one millimeter brick. How sad. Distrusting your friends is much more shameful than being betrayed by that friend you know. We aren't even friends in the first place. That is your older brother, let me say that. You're not even my brother. Sad little life of friendship. Same side of watching a high school rom-com who are guys. What are some demands for that? I totally fell for it. I totally took the man bait. I am gonna save right here, but I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop just that. I promised a full class trial, that's what I'm gonna do. I got, unless I have to cut this half short. all our preconceived notions before we discuss this. In the beginning, our discussion advanced by assuming Nagito's death was caused by the spear. It's better to confirm if there are any other possibilities. That's what I think. Other possibilities? 
There's something other than a spear killed, Nagito. All I can think of is the knife stabbed into his hand, but... That was definitely a gruesome move. But, it wouldn't be the fatal one, don't you think? Hmm. Are we finished already? I feel like it's possible that we overlook something. We won't tell you. Let's bring up whatever we can think of, one after the other. That might clear some things up. Exactly. We should cooperate at a time like this. Even though that was in the sphere, I don't know if I should miss, but if it does, we find out what it is no matter what. I see it. Let us consider a different fatal wound. It's not the knife in his right hand, right? Shaki said the prison she found was half it's empty. It's not the other wounds, right? So what if Nagito drank it? With all those wounds, maybe he simply bled it. There's no way he bled it. Was the cause of death something that cannot be seen? Hmm. Hmm, so you were running the market again. Hell! Damn it. I totally forgot about that possibility. But the cause of death is something we can't see. And we have to consider poison as a possible method. It is true that poison is not something we can see, but why did you bring that up all of a sudden? I remember. When I went to investigate Nagito's college, I discovered something really strange. Inside the refrigerator, I found a bottle of Marquis' special poison. Poison? Additionally, that's a poison made specifically for killing. I see. Now that you mention it, there's no way a toxin like that doesn't relate to the case at all. If, if poison were to cause death, it would not leave an obvious wound on your body. However, it's common for blood blockers to appear on the body that's been poisoned. I see. You sure seem to know a lot about medicine. What does that mean? Well, even if blood blockers appear, if the body was already covered in blood, there's no way we'd notice them easily, right? Did he wound his body just to camouflage them? That's also a possibility. But still, both of you have to use your form. So how do we keep closing? His left hand was tied up in a broken spear, and his right hand had a knife stuck in. If it was a small amount of poison, it is possible he consumed it in advance. No. The one little on the bottle explicitly states the effect is instant. Then it's impossible. Both his hands were whole just before he died. And this is where the heart tail appears! He totally overvalued your next tail! <laughs> his mouth was covered with duct tape. If he wanted to drink poison, how would he get it past his lips? If there's no way he could have drank the poison, it might be impossible. Just kidding. It's not like we're out of possibilities here. Are there any left? No matter how you slice it, he was totally killed by that spear! Since we've already ruled out so many possibilities, it might be easier to think about what really killed him. Operation Elimination Method! The hint should be written on the poison's warning label. Maybe. Maybe the poison is in Arkansas's body. The answer's written on the warning label. I should be careful and try to remember. Another logic dive? Alright. I wonder if Danganronpa V3 has something similar to this. Oh, Jesus! Right, if you breathe it in, the effects the effects will take a while to work. 
so. Not so. If not because Ruff was covered up, there only was one possibility of how we could have breathed it in. Okay, well, okay, well, I was just messed up. There we go. Through his nose. Liquid is highly potent and takes effect immediately. He's going to care. That's volatility is love. Liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. Dangerous when vaporized. In other words, breathing in the gas is fatal. What's in gas? Then all I had to do was breathe the head through his nose. Breathe that poisonous gas inside the warehouse? The poisonous gas is spread throughout the warehouse. Why do you kill us? Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. The spray was in the warehouse. Thanks to those, we didn't inhale that poison gas. The poison gas disappeared because of the sprinklers? It wasn't the fire? Well, this was also written on the poison warning label. In a gaseous state, it's heavier than air. It breaks out in minutes and is susceptible to hydro hydrolysis. Also, free to poison someone with defining complications. Of course! Hydrolysis! The chemical bonds that form the poison were broken down by the water from the sprinklers! Also, the poison is apparently denser than the air. So, what probably didn't affect us because we were standing, but not because it was lying down, so we must have breathed in a whole bunch of it. It's a meat store of carnage, not love. Maybe it's not just a possibility anymore. Yeah, the true cause of Nagato's death was poison. The wounds on his body, the spear in his stomach, it was all to keep us from learning the truth. So what? Huh? We figured out that Nagito died from poison, but so what? In the end, it doesn't change the fact that he committed suicide, right? Then enough already! Nagito inhaled the poison he prepared and died. Yeah. That still sounds like a suicide. Well, with this, we have a clearer picture. We've also determined the true cause of death. All right. All the mystery should be solved now. We should get on with the voting time, right? Well, but what? There's still more? I mean, not all the mysteries have been solved yet. I mean, Nagito's motive is still unclear. Did he commit suicide just so he could kill every last one of us? Was that really his motive? Is that really okay? Hey! What happened? There's no reason to wonder about that stuff anymore, you know. Nagito's motive. Nagito's malice. Is this really okay? Can we finish this here? No, that can't be. There might have been. An accomplice. Huh? Chucky! What did you just say? If Nagito committed suicide by inhaling poison that he brought, then why wasn't there anything that looked like poison at the crime scene? Anything that looked like poison? If Nagito brought poison to the warehouse, it's strange that we couldn't find it there. That's a way about poison the warehouse. Oh yeah, that's right, the container! Are you talking about the container the poison was kept in? Yeah! 
And now you talk about it. It's strange we couldn't find that container anywhere. Right? Can I carry a raw poison without putting it in a container? Yeah, it was good in the morning, but... You can see the secret by staring in a cool place and a glass of plastic container away from the sunlight. But the container probably melted in the sun. It's probably plastic or glass, right? There's no way it completely incinerates. Even the plastic fragments of the fire grenades we used to put out the fire didn't completely burn up, you know? Does that mean someone got rid of the container? But we were all there. That is impossible! Yeah, we all walked around the same time. You're just too... Like, it's okay, you have your own money much? I mean, you have your own money much? That doesn't change the fact that you're not still committed to suicide. What? Someone might have accidentally took it away from your person. God, you're right! You're totally right! That's totally it! Right? Is it okay to close this case yet? I'm not gonna move for unexpected twists. I don't wanna hurt anyone. I don't wanna get hurt anymore just by hurting someone. Everyone's tired, tired of doubting everyone else. I also feel that way. That's why I just wanna rule this monkey to a suicide. If I do that, nobody here has to get hurt. But that's no good. Huh? I feel like Nagi Tell is seeing through us. By calling this Nagito suicide, we're trying to take the easy way out so we don't hurt anyone else. But if Nagito was here right now, he'd probably be sneering at us. He'd probably say something like, So that's the extent of your hopes. So Nagito's ghost is whispering to you, huh? <laughs> the power of friendship bursts beyond death, huh? A fiery outcome like this is right out of a teen manga. Still, that's pretty messed up. <laughs> I, I get what you're saying, but in the end, the reason he died is still the same as before, right? Even if we solve this mystery, the conclusion won't change at all. I mean, it'd be a suicide regardless, right? Uh, even if there really was an accomplice, is there any reason we should take the time to figure out who it is? Like Fuyoshiko said earlier, it is possible that somebody accidentally removed the poison from the crime scene. What? I just can't imagine any miss by turning our backs on the truth. It's fine, okay? There are some things we're better off not knowing, and we probably just didn't notice it. Like maybe the container was hiding with the fire grenade fragments. <laughs> oh, no. I just realized how he was there. Oh, 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 oh. I see. 
I got it! Huh? The fire grenades! Now you took the poison inside one of the fire grenade canisters and transported it to the warehouse. He used one of the fire grenade canisters? Yeah, the container with the poison in it wasn't secretly taken away by someone. Instead, it was in a container that didn't need to be taken away in the first place. Oh. As long as you put the poison in the same container you brought to the warehouse, Making sure that's just my It can be hidden with the other fire grenades in use, so there's no need to dispose of the container later. Wait a second. You just have to peel off that seal and swap the insides, right? Yeah, that is true, but there was no sign he was even at the break room. Oh, oh God. God. Did you say alone? Wait a second. Maybe. If so, then there's no mistake. Now you take definitely swap the contents of one of the fire grenades. Seriously? That's impossible. This Sonia just said so right now. Sonia's words are proof. But the poison is swapped with the contents of the fire grenade. Huh? Someone's words had to have cool the contents of the fire grenade or something. And we got the proof right here. I can prove it with this. Take a look. We found this under Nagito's bed when we were investigating his cot. Look, that's just a piece of trash. No, that is not just a piece of trash. The zero I saw on that fire grenade matched this. It is the same aluminum. You found the aluminum seal under Nagito's bed? There's more. That's not the only thing we found in Nagito's room. We also found a gas mask and gloves under his bed. Did he use those when he put the poison inside the fire grenade? It's a dangerous poison after all. He took extreme caution and swung it. So what's the issue? Nagito put the poison in the grenade canister, brought it with him, breathed it in and died, right? No, you idiot. So in the end, he still fucking committed suicide. Enough already. <laughs> If the canister wasn't thrown away, then it just means that there wasn't an accomplice after all. See, I told you, the conclusion is still the same. No, you idiot! Suicide. End of story. He didn't breathe it in. I admit that there wasn't an accomplice. That was just my misunderstanding. You're, you're right. In actuality, the truth is even more horrifying. One of us killed Makita. Hey! What are you planning to say now? What the hell? Do you still want to keep going? Is this not settled? There is no denying that Nagito's death was a suicide. No, it's not. Jackie? I'm sorry. But I just realized it. Realized what? We know Nagito used the grenade canister to store the poison. So when was it deployed in the warehouse? When did Nagito breathe in the poison? When we used to... along those lines. When we threw the fire grenades. Poor fun truth. It probably happened at the same time. The reason for the music dropping. He swapped them. Oh, come on. Stupid controller. Are you saying it was when we all threw the fire grenades? Yeah, I think so. The fire didn't go automatically. I'm gonna put the poison in. The poison One of us killed Magita when we all threw the fire grenades. If, if that is true, then the person who brought the poison and spread it was. What the heck? One of us threw the poison grenade that so killed Magita? One of us is the black guy. One of us killed Makita. He didn't kill himself. So yourself! You said Makito committed suicide! Then who killed Makito? You mean who's the actual killer, right? Do you know? 
It was obvious. It was Nagito. He prepared it. It was Nagito, obviously. We just discussed this a few minutes ago. Who said the warehouse fire that caused one of us to throw the poison grenade? That should be obvious too. That was also Nagito. That was also Nagito. Hey, how many times do you get to ask your same damn question? The next question will be my last. Considering all the facts up to now, why did Nagito set the warehouse on fire? Huh? To make someone get the poison, obviously. Don't tell me, eh? He set the warehouse on fire just so we'd have to throw the fire grenades? He set the fire just so we'd put it out? Why did he do that? It was a trap. A trap? Preparing the poison. Creating a reason for us to throw the poison. It was all set up by Nagito. It was all a trap to make one of us throw the poison grenade. So, seriously? I'm asking you who threw it. I don't know. The person who threw it probably didn't know either. How could we know? We all threw the grenades. How could we know which one had the Was which that Nagito's trap? This wasn't an intentional murder. This was a murder that Nagito forced someone to do. And for that reason, he put the fire grenade that he filled with poison with the other grenades. Setting up a murder no one can solve. That was Nagito's true goal. So any one of us could be the black end. Nagito did not commit murder. Instead, he manipulated someone else into killing him? To do that, he set a trap to force someone to kill him. He poisoned grenade in the fire with traps. That's why the curtain was the fire's origin point. All the fire grenades we threw at the curtain shattered once they fell to the floor. Because of that, Nagito, who was laying face up on the floor, was able to breathe in the dense poison, and then... Hold on, hold, hold on! If that's true, you can't say the poison was a cause of death! It might be that poison's probably would throw a spear, but the actual cause of death could be either one. Even so, the poison is what caused him to let go of the spear. That's right! Nagito's killer is the one who made him breathe the poison! Are you fucking serious? his trap all along. Even the wounds all over his body. It was all messing with the evidence for what actually happened. His true goal was creating a murder that nobody can solve. He wanted to prove to us that there are mysteries that just can't be solved with educated guesses. He probably expected that his fake suicide would be found out. After all, a mystery that can be solved is destined to be solved in the end. However, he also prepared a mystery that couldn't be solved. As you solve mysteries and bolster your hope, a huge mystery comes along and slaps you in your faces. For those of you who believe there are no unsolvable mysteries, that is when you finally taste despair. Meaning, he used all of the prior class trial verdicts to prepare this trick. Not all mysteries can be solved. <laughs> Such a devious trick he played on you, as expected of Nagito. Yes, it's all messed up. It's so fucked up. It is my fault, because I told you all about the fire grenades. I, I am so sorry. Please call me as a killer. That's not the fucking issue here. It's not. It's Zoe's fault. This is all Nagito's doing. But what should we do? How can we even figure out who the killer is? I think about it. He was in pain. He was in pain. Nagito wanted to create a scenario where we could make a decision. That's why we're in the past. He used everything from every single previous case. Monokuma also does not know who the killer is, right? That's right. There's no way he'd be able to figure that out with just the surveillance cameras. Monokuma doesn't know whose child doesn't count. Isn't that right? You know, I don't actually 
actually mean stuff like cheap ass surveillance cameras or whatever. I know perfectly well what's happening on this island at all times. I know you used the bathroom three times yesterday, Sonia. And one of those visits seemed to take a while. Please stop! I will never become clean! How can you? I'm so sure. I mean, how can you have such an awful power? So, of course this trial still counts. Do your very best to guess who the killer is! Yes, he says. How the hell are we supposed to do that? Is giving up all we can do? No. It's too early to give up. Is there any way to figure out who the killer is? Oh, it's just a hunch. It's possible that it's probably. There's one way, I think. Really? Hey, is it all right if we work around to this crime one more time from the beginning? I want to make sure my hunch is correct. How do you Please. So we're going to do the closing argument? Yeah, let's do this thing.
Thanks for some legit the lighter. Okay, I'm gonna finish this. I'll fix this and I'll come right back. In this case. Okay. Okay, I finished that. So you guys can see it, but I was struggling. Oops. Specialist, which he brought with him from the Octagon. Using the gloves and gas mask that he got from the military base. Now he just swapped the contents of a fire grenade he took from the Flushing Factory break room with that force. When he did that, a specific item was left as evidence the blue aluminum seal on the grenade. Naito finished making the poison fire grenade, took it with him to the factory. And brought it back with the rest of the grenades in the break room. The next morning, Naito appeared before us and declared that he hit a bomb somewhere. Some monocuma panels in a line going from the door to the curtain and place an oil lighter in front. From there, Nagato set his insane plan in motion. First, he hung the spear that he took from the Azumi Castle from the ceiling girder by its core. His arms and legs at the back of the warehouse with rope. However, he broke off the rope on his right arm beforehand. In doing so, he made sure that only his right hand was free, while his remaining arm and legs were tied up. As he gripped the tip of the rope hanging over the ceiling girder with his left hand, Lay down face up, just beneath the dangling spear. But this was just the beginning of Naito's plan. And then, he did something no one could have predicted. First, he covered his mouth with duct tape, and after making sure he was unable to scream, he stabbed himself with a knife multiple times in his left arm and in both of his thighs. Finally. He propped the knife on the plushie and slammed his right hand onto the blade. He didn't just want us to think he was tired, he also wanted us to think he'd been tortured. Through all this, Nagito never let go of the spear. His plan still wasn't over. In fact, it was just about to begin. Well, we finally arrived at the plushie factory and found Naito's message. After seeing his message, we instantly made our way to the warehouse. But that was part of Naito's plan. We opened the door to the warehouse, which inadvertently started the Monokuma panel domino effect. Panels fell one after another until it reached the fire, tipped it over, and ignited the Shocked by the sudden fire, we rushed to the factory's break room to obtain some fire extinguishing grenades. We then aimed for the fire's origin, which was the curtain, and unloaded the entire supply. It never occurred to us that one of those grenades was the poison grenade that Nagito had prepared. The poison sank to the floor, instantly vaporizing due to the intense heat, and spread everywhere. 
opposing guests quickly drifted to the curtain at the back of the warehouse, where Nagito was. Also, Monokuma's poison has a unique quality in which it becomes heavier than air when vaporized. That poison gas completely surrounded the area where Nagito lay face up on the floor. There, Nagito inhaled the poison, and if it didn't instantly kill him, he certainly lost consciousness. Which caused him to let go of the rope in his left hand, and the fallen spirit plunged into his stomach. This is all the information related to Nagito's point. His true intention was to set one of us up as the killer. At this time, we still don't know who the killer is, because the killer wasn't aware they killed someone. Try as we might, we cannot reach that truth. That was Nagito's trap. In conclusion, the fact that he can't determine the killer's identity. Damn. should be the truth behind Nagito's trap. How about it, Chiaki? Will that help you figure out who the killer is? I like the Hachime looks so mad and pissed was pretty cool. Uh, um, Chiaki? Just as I thought. It's impossible, is it? You know what I'm saying? You just have to vote for someone? What Hajime says... probably true. That's part of the reason why I thought it was a little strange. Did Nagito? Really not caring to kill us? Huh? He said this to us earlier. It's going to be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all, there's no way hope can lose. Absolute hope can break through any despair. Can break through any despair can never lose in a place like this. And now that I believe in you all. I believe the time we spent together. That feeling of belief is at the heart of his trick. He believed we'd notice the fire grenades. He believed we'd try to extinguish the flames. And he believed we'd fall into his trap. By believing in us, Nagito was able to put his life-threatening plan into effect. What do you mean, believe? And what's wrong with that? There's one more thing, remember? Something that Nagito believed in from the bottom of his heart. I want you to try to remember what that is. His talent, obviously. Nagito believed in his talent as the ultimate lucky student. And love the ultimate respect to the evolution, you guys. And when I have the evolution, my ultimate luck. Here I've been relying on the same thing. Well, in his case, it was pretty reliable, wasn't it? It almost seemed like we had nine feet in it. You're right. The same thing happened when we cleared the final dead room at the farmhouse. It wasn't life threatening at all. It was just a little escaping that it was some Russian roulette. Russian roulette? It's a game where you left one bullet in a gun, spin the cylinder, point it towards you, and pull the trigger. So you really did it. Oh, so that's how you're supposed to play it. It would be fine if I only used one bullet, huh? I guess it's just as Monami said. Huh? I misunderstood that I'd take one bullet out of the cylinder, so that's how I did it. That? You only had one in six chances of surviving! But I'm still alive after all. The only good thing about me is how lucky I am. I did the same thing when the first killing happened at the old building in the hotel. He depended on us like those who they clean do just as he wanted. That's right, I just trusted my luck. I trust I didn't pick the cleaning duty. You just relied on your luck? It's not just luck, it's true my talent is trash, but I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know. Huh? I almost hit the red mark. <laughs> There's someone called the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky, but it was quite actually the opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty, just like I wanted. But his luck doesn't have anything to do with the case this time, right?
know what happened to him. What? what did he do? No, he wasn't just after anybody. He probably had a target. That target he was aiming for all along. A person to set up as the killer. A target? Who? The target's true identity. Even Nagito didn't know it. That's why he relied on being the ultimate lucky student. And incorporated that luck into his plan. As long as he had his luck, he believed the target he was after would pick up the fire grenade. Uh, he left his plan to luck? He risked his life for that? He probably risked his life just so his ultimate luck could decide this. Who is it? Who's the target Nagito was after? The traitor. That's it. The traitor. Nagito was after the traitor, huh? Yeah. He relied on his luck to weed out the traitor. Nagito didn't know who the traitor was until the very end. All he could do was rely on his own luck. Then, what he said in his video message. You won't work with just any student handbook if you want to disarm that bomb. You have to use the traitor's hand, student handbook. To be honest, I found out who the traitor was after secretly monitoring everyone's activity. I was a little annoyed that they never came forward. Just bluffing! That's probably true. By that point, his plan should have already been in motion. That's just as Nagito said at the beginning. His purpose was to weed out the traitor. If we just believed in what Nagito said, we would have reached the answer much quicker. The reasons took so damn long. Is it because we didn't believe in him? But if he just wanted to out the traitor, he didn't have to go this far and make that person the killer. Damn it! We're all in a huge bind because of that! It means he wants us to beat the traitor. By finding out who the traitor is, our hopes will shine even brighter by overcoming that despair. That's something he'd say. Monami, it looks like you've got something you want to say. But you better just keep your mouth Shut! And that concludes my argument. Nagito's plan was to make the traitor kill him. What are you gonna do? Are you guys gonna believe me? Carolina was like aiming for a target, but didn't even know who he was aiming for. It sounds way too believable that have actually happened, but... The only thing we can do is believe. If we don't, then we'd just be relying on our luck when we cast our vote. But even if we do believe, what should we do? I mean, if we don't know who the target is... There's no way we can even vote. You are absolutely right. It is hard to think the traitor would reveal themselves now. If, by chance, the traitor revealed themselves during that bomb scare, what would have happened? Would it have stopped Nagito from acting so reckless? Huh? But they couldn't help it. Even if they wanted to reveal themselves, they couldn't do it because... They weren't created to do that. Created? Chiaki? What's wrong, Chiaki? Get a hold of yourself! That's why I want you guys to guess. You want us to guess? Yeah, I want you to guess. What? What does that mean? Who do you think it is, Hajime? Who do you think the future foundation sent to infiltrate your group as the traitor? Why? The traitor who's not allowed to think that they're different from everyone else. Why? A traitor who can only interact with everyone as a traitor. Why? Because that's the nature of their existence. They can only exist as a traitor. Seriously, why? Who do you think is the traitor? Hajime, please. God damn it. I know why. Because they made the one mistake of using their handbook. It's you, Chiaki. You're the traitor. Please, hold on. Ah, uh, you totally guessed right. Just as expected. Yep, you're correct. I'm the traitor. The agent sent by the Future Foundation to hide among you all is me. Damn it! Why? This is... I mean, this nonsense is... Why? Why does this make sense? Hey, Jack. Are 
Are you being serious right now? Chiyoki is the traitor? That is a lie, right? Surely you must be joking. I'm sorry. It's the truth. Hey, what are you saying sorry for? What does this mean? You... Up to now... You've been tricking us? What? We are not tricked! After all, we have been working together all this time! We have been helping each other all this time! Sorry, excuse me. Chiaki, being a traitor, being a member of that horrifying future foundation, that is obviously a lie! Please, wait! The future foundation is not what you think it is! Shut the fuck up! We're talking to Chiaki! No. I have nothing more to say. Why? Because we already know the killer's true identity. So the only thing left to do is vote. Hold on! We're not satisfied yet! If you say you are the traitor, please provide an explanation that will help us understand. We cannot go until we are satisfied. That is what you said earlier, Chiaki. Hey, if you're really the traitor, why don't you wait till now to reveal yourself? Yourself. It's definitely strange, right? Or rather, why was I able to do that? Maybe... I wanted to protect everyone, no matter the cost. Hey, Hajime. Can you do me a small favor? Favor? Me? I want you to prove to them that I'm the traitor. What? What are you saying? Why do I have to do that? I want to explain everything to you guys, but... As I expected, that's rather difficult. That's why... The only thing I can do is plead with you. I want you to do it. I believe you can prove it. Whether I can prove it or not, that's not the problem. Don't you understand? You may as well be asking me to kill you! I... There's no way I can do that. I'm very sorry. But this is the only way. So... Please. Looks like we gotta do what we can. It's not like I believe she's the traitor. There's just no way we can ignore this without confirming it. If she was just disguised or something, this would have been a heck of a lot easier for us to understand, but... She's not disguised at all! Cause... Chiaki isn't the traitor! Mommy? <laughs> Too bad. I'm not part of the same group as that girl. I don't know anything about that girl at all, Kate! Are you trying to cover for her like that? You suck! I... always been alone. I... have no friends. Anywhere. That's why I have no relation to Chiaki whatsoever. Hajime, you're going to listen to my request, right? Damn it. Chiaki isn't my friend. I hate Chiaki so much. Nami and Chiaki's relationship. Finger, is that the only way? So I have to panic talk against Monami to prove she and Shaki are friends. Monica Michelle been tricked things bad. 
day two, Byaku is the leader, and a lot of things happen today, so everyone's tired. for three days. Everyone's hungry and on edge. Hajime tried to go to the final dead room today. He probably panicked because no one believes him. There it is. It's true. I tried to go inside the final dead room, but the only one who knew that was Chiaki. Because she's the one that's stopped me. Chiaki is the one who stopped me. If I win the life-threatening game here, I'll be able to go to that office and tell police right away. Oh, that's true. Chiaki is the one who stopped me. The only one who knew that was Chiaki. Because she's the one that stopped me. If I win the life-threatening game here, I'll be able to go to that office and tell police right away. That's where the exit should be. I did it. I finally did it. I finally figured out where the exit is. I can get out. It looks like I finally get out. You can't do that. You shouldn't go in there. You won't find what you're looking for. That's right. The only person who knew that is Chiaki. That's why Chiaki is the only person who could have possibly written about this. There must be some mistake. I mean, if Chiaki is the traitor, who was all that time we spent with her? Was that all a lie, too? Miss Sonia. Chiaki is. She is being controlled by Monokuma. That is why we should help her. I'm not satisfied either. I mean, if you were the traitor, there's no way you'd do something so stupid when we found the bomb. It really is serious fighting over something like this. And so for no expression on her face, Chucky worked with the bombs without saying a word. Took her hand but got out of her pocket. Huh? I hesitate, I hesitate and swept the, swept the card reader. Bzzz. Looks like it was wrong. Now that you mention it, Chiaki immediately went to the card reader with her handbook. She tested it out right away after being told it would only react to the trader's handbook. That doesn't make any sense. A trader would be more cautious than that. Chiaki probably knew the bomb was a fake. That's why she also knew Nagito's trap was a bluff. She, she knew? That is a mistake. That must be a mistake. Why are you saying such things? Do you really want Chiaki to be the traitor? Of course, of course not. not! I don't believe it! I refuse to believe Chiaki is the traitor! There is... just no way! I don't want to believe it either. I don't want to believe, but... Then no one will be saved! Of course I don't want Chiaki to be the traitor. What choice do I have? When we were trying to turn off the bomb, didn't she have to use the card reader right away? If she's a traitor, she would have been more cautious. There's no way Chiaki would have known. That bomb was fake or not. The only person who knew it was a fake was me. When I tried to detonate it. Unless you know a whole lot about bombs, there's no way you know if it's fake just by looking at it. Hmm. Didn't she have to use it? If she's a traitor, she feels no way she'll get that bomb with fear. You know what you mean? Me. Why don't you have to do it? That's not it. 
I feel so bad for, do, for doing That's this on yeah. Zomi should have been the only one who knew it was a fake. Monami knew as well. Monami was also there when you found out the bomb at the military base wasn't real. You said so yourself. And she told Chiaki. Is that true, Miss Sonia? Chiaki heard about it from Monami. That's why she knew the bomb was a fake. Since I've been found out, I'll just confess. The reason I couldn't tell anyone I knew the bomb was a fake was because if I had said that, I would have had to explain how I heard about it from Monami. I'm sorry, Sonia. I don't want to do this to her either. Even if she did the bomb was fake, that does not prove Chucky is the traitor. If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too. After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. Sonia, she's breaking pretty badly. Even if she knew the bomb was fake, that does not prove Chucky is the traitor. If that counts as evidence, I should be dead too. After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. This. Even if she knew the bomb was fake, that does not prove Chucky is the traitor. If that counts as evidence, I should be dead too. After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. Even if she knew the bomb was fake. You should know it wasn't from the military base. Tell you the truth, the bombs there are all fakes. I know that already. You should have said so earlier. Well, I thought if I got quiet with foreshadow the killing was gonna happen. That's I'm just not telling you for the first time. I feel relieved. That Monokuma may have just been lying. No, I don't lie at times like this. You already know that. Hajime, are you going to believe Monokuma over Chiyoki? That's not it. It's just... Even if Chiaki is the traitor, 
Is it really okay to vote for her? That basically just means we have to believe in Nagito's luck, right? That's not it. Is that telling us to trust his luck? Are you telling us to entrust our lives to that bastard? There's no way I can believe in Nagito. I'm telling you that's not it. We shouldn't believe in Monokuma or Nagito. We have to believe in Chiaki. Huh? It doesn't matter who the traitor is. Even if Chiaki is the traitor, that's not the Chiaki I know. I believe that. The Chiaki has been with us this whole time. That Chiaki is saying she wants to protect us with her life. So the only thing we can do is believe her. If we don't, nobody's going to be saved. Damn it. Hey, can you listen to me a little? There's nothing to be sad about, you know? Because this is different from what happened before. Unlike before, you guys don't have to stay alive by doubting someone. You guys can stay alive by believing in me. Are you telling us to believe in you and sacrifice you? That is just too cruel. I'm sorry. Ch Chucky. Mommy, I'm sorry too. You're probably gonna get scolded by a lot of different people for this, but still, I want to protect everyone by any means. And I'm happy that I'm able to do that. It's not up to me to decide whether that's right or wrong. However, I believe it's truly amazing that you are able to think like that. We could even call this a miracle. Hey, what have you two been talking about? Everyone's jaws are dropping, you know? I oh, know. It's voting time, right? Hey, hey. Chiaki. You don't have to worry. Believe in me. And cast your vote. Damn it! Why did it end up like this? That's right. Why Chiaki? Why her? There. I feel the same as everyone else. There's no way I can agree to this emptiness, loneliness, sadness. But most of all, I'm ashamed of my weakness. But even so, I have to move forward. If we believe in the person who's urging us for who's urging us forward, then we have to start walking and leave as much hope as possible in what lies ahead. Me and I'm Pilp. Let's go ahead and announce the result. A traitor from the future foundation and Nike the Komaeda's killer is. Chiaki Nanami! Damn it! Are you serious? That was correct! Yeah. The fact that Chiaki was a traitor, the fact that Nakaso's crime depended entirely on his luck, uh, everything was true! Damn it! Plus, that means that bastard managed to pull it off! Congratulations, everyone! Stupid! We're not celebrating at all! Damn it! Chiaki, let me ask you one more time. Are you really part of the Future Foundation? An agent of the organization that brought us to this island? Is that really your true identity? I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys. What? That is... I cannot believe it. You know, I don't want to believe it. There's no choice but to believe, right? I'm sorry. It would have been better if I could have said it sooner, but I could say it no matter what. Cause? Cause I can't betray the Future Foundation. Can't betray? Well? Even if you want to fly, you can't, right? If you want to swim where you please, you can't, right? Um, it's the same for me. Due to the nature of my existence, I won't be able to betray the Future Foundation. What the heck? But I need you did something similar. What you did is no different than sharing your secret yourself. <laughs> You're right. Why? No sense to be laughing. Well? But strangely enough, I don't have any regrets. 
In fact, I'm somewhat happy. Hopefully, it doesn't think I want to protect everyone. That's why I feel proud of my actions. Uh. You're still saying things I don't get, but if we ask you anything, you're just not going to answer, right? Like if we ask you, you were in the future foundation and stuff. I'm sorry. Please. Even if you were a traitor, you never betrayed us. Chiaki, you will always be our friend, even now. We <sighs> don't blame you for this. That's why you don't need to apologize. Yeah. So the traitor was revealed, and Chiaki lost, and the unknown went according to Nagito's plan, huh? Like. About that. It was really Nag was that really Nagito's goal? Is it really okay to see he was trying to find the killer and eliminate them? If so, isn't that strange? Strange? I mean, we nearly lost, right? And if Chucky hadn't said anything, we definitely would have lost. <laughs> he raised a good point. That's exactly it. Even though Nagito said he would weed out the traitor, he never said he would kill the traitor. Huh? <laughs> Congratulations! You successfully stopped Nagito's plan! I mean, Nagito's plan was to reveal the traitor. And kill everyone else besides the traitor! <gasps> kill everyone else besides the traitor! Uh, that was serious? Nagito's goal? Huh? Why would you do something like that? Of all the... Tomorrow, play the... Your traitor was to that? Is that bastard really that twisted? No. It's okay. Okay, huh? what? I mean, it's not just Nagito's fault. I and mean, if circumstances have been different, he probably would have taken things so far. Ch Chucky! You really are a kind of a person! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You think so? <laughs> Jeez, I wonder where you got your personality from. Perhaps. Maybe our dad and our big brother, don't you think? <gasps> hey, oh, look at all my family all of a sudden. That's why we're bringing up Taro Taro. I can't lose! I can't lose to Chucky. Just like Chucky and everyone else. Yeah, if I know it's a fight, I cannot win. <laughs> I must try to retaliate. Huh? huh? Retaliate? She's still destructive. What? What's going on? Huh? Monokuma, like, died? No, no! I'm not dead. I know I fucking came out. Yeah, that surprised me. If I had a spare, I would have died. Not yet. I'm not done yet. Hey, wait. If I don't beat you, nobody can. Let it be. Stop it, I say. I'm sorry. I don't. Again? Not yet! I won't forgive you! I won't forgive you! I will protect him with my life! None of you? Now then, you are still there. You might as well all come out at once. Do I have any? Not that much. Just around 10.60. What did you say? What? One million. Mm. One ten hundred thousand ten thousand one million one billion one trillion one quadrillion. Jump ahead 10.52, 10.56, and then 10.60. That's 10 to the 60th power. Oh, uh. oh, hey. As we are still joking around. You have still have quite the daring spirit. <laughs> Except I'm not joking. <laughs> What are you even saying anymore? I didn't see that scene. <laughs> Why are you doing this? My clones are continuously and endlessly created in the Monokuma Manufacturing Facility. That's wrong. What? Those are just stuffed animals. That's right. I checked them with my own hands. They're just plushies. Damn it. You're just bluffing. Monomy, finish them all. Hey, um... It's just a plushie, as long as you give it Monokuma's personality. <laughs> It becomes a fully developed Monokuma. What did you say? There's no way it's possible. That's not even magic. <laughs> magic, huh? Have you ever obtained that much power? Okay. Hold on. If you bring a magic so we're going to be so confused. 
How's your magic in a technical sense? We won't understand at all. Hey, hey. What's going on? Don't seem to call us magic or something. Ah. I don't care how you interpret it. And how many monomies are left to challenge my army of ten? <laughs> you don't say anything, I know. Let's see, you just have ten more left, right? I am the winner! I am the conqueror of the new world! I won't give up! You have no chance of winning, I... It's okay, monomie. Hmm? Well? It's not like giving up, you know. Let's believe in them. Let's believe in everyone and leave the rest to them. I... Bye -bye. Right? Right? What the hell's going on? Um... I don't know for certain, but the only thing I can see is... Wait, listen! Monica was an enemy of the Future Foundation! Right. Does that mean there's another organization that's our enemy besides the Future Foundation? This is bad! We're in such rich because we're caught up in this, between these two organizations! <laughs> okay, that's it! Let's just leave that talk for later! <laughs> because... 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 Yeah! Because the punishment time's gonna start! <laughs> Hold on, just a little more, just a little more time. Shing. To wait or not to wait, that is the question. But which will cause more despair? That's the real question. <laughs> if you think about it, you know, right? There's no way, there's no way I'd wait. But I haven't. I'm sorry. Hachime. Regardless, there's nothing else I can say. I'm not going to say anything more than I already have. That's not that. I I prepared a very special punishment. For Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer. Special greetings, uh, service! For Monami, too. Huh? Why even Monami? Ah. Hang on. I gotta kill that thing it's my what since she's not a student. Also, I don't need anybody that would find me anymore. Uh huh. Also, I remember now. <laughs> I'm an only child. Oh, yes. What is this? Oh. It's okay. Even if I'm here, I just be a burden anyway, and not just that. <gasps> I decided to believe in everyone. You guys, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry about so many things. I'm sorry for lying to you. I'm sorry. I couldn't protect you to the very end. Just one last time. Let me say something that makes me sound like a teacher. There's no need to be a hero. You don't have to force yourself just to make people acknowledge you. When you do that, you end up blaming yourself, blaming other people, and feeling jealous of everyone. But still, it doesn't have to be like that. Even if people don't acknowledge you, you just have to be someone that you can be proud of. Because you yourself are your biggest supporter. If you can learn to love yourself, that love will continue to support you for the rest of your life. Love, love. Bye, everyone. It's okay. A shining future will always be waiting for you. Oh, it's true. It's absolutely true. Because I know. Bye-bye. Please don't forget about the teacher. Chiaki. Video game punishment?
she actually said she saw a dream of this before very now come on Chucky's final moments without realizing it, I fall to my knees. I feel your powerlessness spread throughout my body. It's over. It just had to end. Before I could ask for me to ask, before considering what to say, Chucky vanished before my eyes. And I couldn't even tell her thank you. If I'd said that, would she have been comfortable a little? And she was executed the traitor. Has she been comforted a little? I don't know. My chest just hurt. I don't believe it! Good gracious, that was such a big surprise! As for Chiaki, she clearly took on the role as appointment during the class trials, just as did Nakito too. What? And not only was she the traitor, she was Nakito's killer too. Here. Oh well, don't worry about it. There won't be any more situations we need to rely on now. Hmm. None of the annoying rap is gone as well. All the obstacles have been curious stuck on the side are completely gone. Hey. Are you serious? We can really leave this island? I shall now present! Yes, congratulations! But this I shall not see the end of the killing school trip. For you five who survived up until now, I should give you the right to graduate. The June. I don't know if Junko was still dead or not, but would she have really done this? Her plan was to have only only one person get to graduate. But for only five of us? <sighs> Thank you for all your hard work. Are you really okay with that? Huh? Hmm? What do you mean? There are still two days left. And you, if you act like your usual self, you'll be set on things so another killing happens right away. Yeah. You're right. <sighs> Stop! What are you saying? What if Mr. Monokuma changes his mind? Also, you said you five like you were empathizing that part. Does the number of people matter more than the remaining time? That's why you're saying it's the end already, even though you saw, even there are still two days left, right? Huh? It matters that there are five people left? It's kind of like... The ending, except if, except if, if Kyoko had died, there was only five of them left, and they were still in the school. So, why does it matter if there are five people left right now? Are you planning to make a volleyball team? Don't stay quiet. Say something. What's your actual purpose? You're our enemy and an enemy of the Future Foundation, so what's your true identity? Hey, um... If the Future Foundation is the world ender, then I will end the new world that the Future Foundation has created. Huh? No, no! Well, you just have to look forward to the rest after the countdown ends. <laughs> the timer is almost reached zero. If it reaches zero, everything will end. The Future Foundation's lane plan will be nothing but toilet bubbles. And when that time comes, you'll know everything. You'll see all of your questions answered in one day. And then you guys will find out for yourselves just how messed up this new world is. Hey, hey. Huh? The new world? Don't go see Michelle all of a sudden. Yeah. Well, just thinking the remaining two days and countdown reaches zero as a bonus. Yeah. Well, you're yeah, right. You shouldn't put your life on the this trap from the island to the fullest. Because once you leave this island, yeah. your hopeless lies back home will be waiting for you. So, he's really letting us go? Okay, this has been bothering me the whole time. Who is controlling Monokuma? Jinko is dead. Who the hell is controlling him? Monokuma's boisterous laughter carried on for a felt like forever. Our questions, our worries, our sadness were simply ignored. The last were just kept going forever. 
That's what we did afterwards. Honestly, it doesn't matter at all. I turned my conch for the time being and fell asleep. And after I woke up, my mother knew my body didn't come back. That's why I didn't look back on anything that happened up until now. I didn't think what was going to happen. I just kept praying that nothing else would happen. I burrowed deep into my sheets as if, we're trying, as if I were trying to hide. In doing so, I was only trying to endure the long day. And then the sun finally said, The day feels like only when we spend it praying that nothing happens. Which reminds me, I haven't heard Monokuma's announcement. I guess that doesn't need me anymore. Is everything really going to end? What is everything anyway? How far? How much is everything? If we leave this island, is everything going to end? There's still so much we don't know. About our school memories, the future foundation, Hope Speak Academy, Monokuma's true purpose. Can we really end this and turn it back turn it back to all that? And not just that, if we're really leaving, then where are we going? To Hope Seek Academy? That was my last line at Jabberwock Island, at a place where my memory, memories didn't even matter. Everything was about to end. I feel like I had a fun dream somehow. I think it was about my childhood. Because I was able to feast the day of some happier feeling than usual. That's right, it's the last day. According to Monokuma. <laughs> so that my body shuddered. But when I opened my eyes, I was gripped by a fear that I had never felt before. A fear I, I feel like I had abandoned in this world. I felt completely, utterly alone. With nobody left on this island. Kazumichi, Fuyuhiko, Akane, Sonya. Like everyone was gone and I couldn't find them anywhere. I said if we were anything, like everything in this world was looking at my eyes. I rushed out of my cottage just to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage just to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage just to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage just to escape that fear. I out of the cottage just to escape that fear. What the fuck? I rushed out of the cottage just to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage just to escape that fear. I left the college at randomly random time. Hello there. Uh, got you. Good timing, what do you mean? See? Remember when I said we were in front of the factory? Yeah, we were dealing with the bomb markets. What about it? Yeah. Apparently there was more to them as you said that last time. Huh? Yeah. Remember when the scene swept day and so I passed. Apparently we walked by a timer. What the hell? Mm -hmm. You said I saw you with the watch until after the class trial? Why would we do that? Maybe I'm nice to play my leaks as a girl. Like a toast girl? Where's it right now? We were just playing at the restaurant and watched together. Got it. The restaurant. Um... You're dead! I watched you die! How the hell are you still alive? Hey, you're late. Is it true? Nagato we left another message? <laughs> Near before my son had thank her. She was the one who found it. <laughs> I was going for a walk with Gundam's hamster when I found it. When I stopped when I found it, I stopped by the factory. Listen well. Hmm, a coincidence you say. What? Gundam? Huh? Why would this one be going for a walk with Gundam? I never allowed that. Damn right. So anyway, let's hurry up and play it. Yeah, you're right. Um, I wonder, wonder who's watching, watching this message. Is it the traitor from the Future Foundation? If so, congratulations. Looks like it ended the way I hoped it would. 
Okay, look at what he's holding for Mike was trying to kill everyone except the traitor. Damn it, which is what Monokuma said. So he was nice enough the traitor was the killer, and he only tried to make them survive the trial? Well, why would he do that? Enough for, enough for your useless talk. Here's a still more. Byakuya? But if everyone but the traitor is watching this video, then unfortunately I guess I lost. That happens the complete opposite of the hope I believe in. Not that matters for me anymore. I mean, I'm wherever the outcome is. It doesn't matter if I drop out like me. Let's put this meaningless introduction aside and get down to business. This is not who I'm talking to. I'm gonna speak so that both sides will understand. First of all, I'm gonna remember why I did what I did. Well, I just took action for, after talking about it for, for so long. The special prize in the final dance and allow me to learn a certain truth. It would be troublesome if everyone found out. Sorry to disclose your bad page. But anyway, I was totally surprised. I mean... The Fusion Foundation's trading was the only bad truth all along. So I was able to learn the truth about this world and resolve to take action immediately. I should make fun of Hajime. Deep down, I always want to become a protagonist myself. But now that I know the truth, as I look back on Monokuma's actions, I'm starting to see what he's planning. I gave us information about the island's mystery and the future foundation. He's raising all your hopes. But he, but he only so can, he can lead you into unimaginable despair. Plus, Monokuma's trying to show that, that despair to someone. Perhaps that someone is... What the fuck is going on? Who would want to come as true identity? How could it come to a plan like that? But that's not reflecting on the past. Let's talk about the future now. If you want to escape Monokuma's plan, there's such a place you need to go to. The key to enter that place is that message you found at Mizumi Cash. Well, no one even found a bunch of steps to enter that place. But since that message gets rid of those steps, you can think of it as an Easter egg or something. It's probably looked by someone other than Monokuma or Monomi. But that has nothing to do with me. <laughs> Guys will still think you're not gonna... There's something will stop it, so don't... Don't stop. Ed had this until my plan came to an end. But I guess I know it's a nice time to announce it, right? So then I'll announce the password. 11 0 3 7. Huh. That is the password to the Muslim castle. Let's use that to enter a specific place. It's all we can escape Monokuma. I feel like I've been talking forever, but that's all for me. With this, my duty is finished. I believe my actions will become the foundation of this world's hope. Hang on one second. Sorry, I had to relaunch the game because apparently when I launched the launcher, it runs really well, but when I just launch by its icon, it just runs slow as shit. Hmm. But I don't have to worry about that any longer. I think we're almost done. And if that really happens, praise me. Tell others what I accomplished. Erect a bronze statue of me. Respect me. Please tell me. The ultimate hope. It's just, just find a message. Not one man to write this seven number that matches the mention of the password. If there's a mistake, you that's the password into the ancient room. Yeah. We better think, I think. Let's go for the countdown which is zero. Great, let's go. What the fuck? Snow? I uh, life I'm getting life is strange feels all over again. Nerve-wracking. Yeah.
Okay, then I'm not gonna read that. Is it really safe to go inside? What's gonna be in there? Oh, it's so unreliably freaked out like that. You're a man, aren't you? <laughs> Mahiru, Nekomaru, Yakuya, Chiaki. They're all supposed to be dead. Why are they here? This doesn't like Kyoto. This is time to stand around. Oh, yeah, Damn right, it's our last chance to get inside. <laughs> Mikan. The last for the thrills, the chills, the kills. <laughs> ah, if you're gonna let it out, why not do it in the Tupperware I keep it? Terror, terror? Hey, just has something to fuck around. Oh, it's gonna be alright. You don't have to worry. I'll protect my young master. Peko? Now then, let's go forward together. Yeah. Huh? Don't you like a kid? This is your leader's order. believe that hope lies beyond this point. That is your leader's order. Oink, 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 oink! What? What was that? I told you I stand piggy talk. I said you're so cool on piggy talk. I am going to kill you. Hachime! Hachime, the password cookies. Yeah, I know. There's no need to fear to worry. The only thing we have this point is a shining future. Now then, let's open the door to this future. I could have sworn I've heard those numbers 11037 before in the last game. Beyond this door, the future is waiting. A sparkling future. Now then, let's move forward. <laughs> I can't tell if that's computer or not doing this. Okay, I'm going to... Well, unfortunately, I'm going to cut it off right... I want to say it was going from side to side. It was actually shaking rather intensely. Unfortunately, I'm going to stop it right here. Um, this concludes part three of the Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair finale. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys back here next time for the, for the part four of the Danganronpa 2 finale. I was about to say season finale. I was like a TV show, it's a video game. Okay, uh, thank you and goodbye.